Okay, it's like day 81, and I, I'm kind of debating on, on what to do with the rest of my 19 days left. With the rest of my 19 days left. But uh, I figured today I'm going to go over what I did yesterday. And uh, I was just playing through a Mozart, uh, now I can't remember, 545? Because I, I decided the fantasy, it doesn't really gel too much. And doing a program, the audience does want to hear something they know. Uh, on another note, the K545 K is pretty easy, but I would do all three movements of this sonata. And I've done it before, probably like five or six years ago. And I just played through it, and I might do it a couple more times and maybe plug that in. Uh, and I do want to do the uh, Chopin Ballade. I have another nursing home gig on Friday, so I, I want to do the Chopin Ballade and maybe the Schumann Widmung or the Liszt Widmung in that Widmung. So, uh, but um, today I want to start with. Um, oh shoot, I'm in the wrong set list. Hang on a minute. Uh, I want to start with the the, the Solfeggetto because again it went okay on Friday, um, but it could be better. Let me turn it sideways so. I can see both pages, and again, I'm kind of on the, you know, I'm, I'm getting older, but I can see more importance of uh, memorization, the importance of memorization, because, you know, if you, if you just know it and could play it, it would be a lot easier than trying to remember everything and then look, remembering where to look at the music. Anyway, let's hear how this goes. Um, just, it's, too, I, I got to use my ear more and listen to how this goes. <laughs> Actually, it's just this part. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And then it's a little awkward there. on F sharp here and then I want to play C sharp here and that's not it it's B flat yeah one more Oh, that's probably Italian. La Caplesante. <laughs> and whatever. Uh, the minuet. Thank you. 
that's going to be in good shape. So now the Beethoven. This is what I practiced yesterday. Uh, and a lot of it went well. I was kind of like reviewing the triplets here. just listening to the triplets. here at the end of the first movement, this. And we do it four times. Last one. It's so tricky. Did I get? I got it. Oh, all right. So here. Yeah. I'm always using a thumb, but they use a thumb a lot too. Use a two finger. That makes a little more sense. Here, 
missed one two finger. The rest of it, I, I pretty much, I think I did as written. <laughs> I kind of tell my students this is once you figure it out and you remember how you figured it out that should make it easier so I'm not like relearning because I was doing it wrong I'm just like putting it in my brain a different way and I'm remembering okay this is the new version and I don't have to unlearn it I have another gig on Friday. I think I said that. Uh, the rest of this was good. So I'm glad I practiced that some more. Before we leave, let's practice, go through the ballad a little bit. And uh, let's start just a little here. I haven't, I haven't played this in a couple of days.
part always kind of worries me. If I keep the right hand loose and soft and just focus more, I mean, that's what I, yeah. And then at the very end, I'll be loud. I guess a little bit. clear but it's kind of getting there and it's just that thumb but that uh, you know that was not too shabby all right i think we'll stop there for today i'll keep practicing and especially that beethoven part that i need to practice i'll practice